Hello everyone, welcome to Civil Mentors channel. In today's video, we're going to show you what it's like being a civil engineer or an architect and do they work together. So let's get started. But before moving on, please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you never miss an update from Civil Mentors. Both civil engineers and architects are involved in planning and designing structures. However, a civil engineer will concentrate on making sure that the structure will be safe and be able to endure everyday and extreme conditions, while the architect will focus on the aesthetics of the structural work, as well as concentrate on the look, feel, and functionality. The civil engineer will analyze and evaluate the structural integrity of the design that the architect has created and find ways to make the construction design possible by suggesting alterations, modifications, in order to turn the architect's vision into reality. Civil engineers and architects often work with each other as their work sometimes overlaps. A good working relationship between the two professions will make a construction job more effective and successful. Civil engineering is a very demanding yet fulfilling career as the engineer work on a project from its inception right to its completion. When you drive over a bridge, see a building, fly out of an airport, or visit a museum, a civil engineer has had a major part in that project. Civil engineers have many duties. They interact with clients, customers, inspectors, suppliers, vendors, architects, and design teams. They submit and revise drawings many times over until they are approved. They also spend time tendering, looking at reports, doing cost estimates, analyzing designs and infrastructures, testing, commissioning, and spend time on construction sites to see what progress is being made on projects. Construction sites need to be visited and monitored frequently in all kinds of weather conditions to make sure work is going smoothly and disputes are resolved in a timely manner in order to meet specific deadlines. Being an architect can be very challenging and competitive. University does not teach you everything you need to know, but it does develop your creative talents and opens your mind to new ideas. You will learn about business and the technical aspects of architecture when you start working in the field. You will also develop useful contacts and relationships with contractors, engineers, and clients. Practicing architecture for most architects is not about designing, but about coordinating projects, solving design problems, and overseeing the details of the construction. All these mundane and uninspiring tasks will lead to a successful design. Over time, you may prefer either the design aspect or the technical aspect of the job and may veer towards doing one over the other. The direction you take in your career will dictate what your typical day will be like. Architectural design focuses on the design of a building, the use of 3D models, sketching, renderings, etc. Technical design focuses on the construction, the documentation, and details of a project. There is also the business side of architecture. And if you find you prefer that side of the picture, you can branch out and become a project manager. Try to get an opportunity to spend some time in an architecture office if you can. See if you like what people are doing there chat with them, and see if they are the type of people with whom you like to work. This is really the best indicator of whether you will enjoy being an architect or not. The two main designers of a structure are the architect and the civil engineer, both professions being integral to the structure's execution and construction. Their responsibilities often overlap. The architect will design a space to meet the client's needs, 
and will come up with the blueprints for both the inside and outside of a building. Because the architect is ultimately responsible that the building is safe for its occupants, he or she will work closely with a civil engineer to ensure the structure meets all the appropriate building codes. The civil engineer can also advise and or select the appropriate structural materials and help with specifying the plumbing, electrical, heating, air conditioning, and ventilation systems that will be needed. That's all for today guys, see you in the next video. Do like and share this video if you enjoyed. Thank you.